Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here. So Tyson Fury defeats Otto Walin by unanimous decision in what was a bloodbath, and I've got to say, a very good fight. I thoroughly enjoyed this fight. I really wasn't expecting that type of resistance from Otto Walin, but he proved me wrong, so credit to Otto Walin for making it a good fight and making it entertaining. Let's briefly talk about the fight itself. Early on in this fight, I was actually very impressed with Otto Walin. I was impressed with his tactics. In round one, Otto Walin came out in that southpaw stance behind a nice tight guard. He was nice and compact, and he was focusing on the body. He was applying good pressure, and he found the target. Um, you know, particularly with the jab to the body and the straight left, but also hooks went up closer as well. So Otto Walin's bodywork in round one was impressive and effective, and I felt it won him the round. Fury was trying to box from range as we expect, but he wasn't really doing much in round one. Rounds two and three were similar to round one, but Fury was showing more output, and he was landing a few better shots here and there. But once again, Otto Walin was applying good pressure, he was working the body, and he was finding the target, again, especially to the body. But he was also coming upstairs, with the straight left of the head and also hooks to the head. So rounds two and three, hard to score, but I again, I was impressed with what Otto Walin was doing. Round four, this is the round where Tyson Fury sustained a really bad cut, and it was really bad. It was caused by a little short left hook up close. Very good shot from Otto Walin, and um, yeah, it caused a really bad cut over the eye of Tyson Fury. And it has to be said, it was another decent round for Otto Walin. Round 5, I felt Otto Walin clearly won. Tyson Fury was, you know, disturbed by the cuts. He was... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he was panicking, per se, but he was very much aware of it, and it just looked like he wanted to get through the round. So round 5, I felt Otto Walin won that round, because Fury wasn't really doing much, and Walin was applying good pressure. And after 5 rounds... I was thinking to myself, you know, Tyson Fury's in real trouble here. After five rounds, he's arguably losing. In fact, I had him losing 3-2. He's got a really bad cut. He's not looking too hot. You know, Tyson Fury was in trouble after five rounds. But to his credit, from round six to round 11, Tyson Fury really bit down on his gun shield, applied pressure, and fought back effectively. Round six onwards, Tyson Fury was starting to walk Otto Walin down, round by round. He was digging to the body, coming up through the middle with beautiful uppercuts. And, you know, he started to put a beating on Otto Walin as the second half of the fight progressed. You know, particularly rounds 9, 10 and 11. In those rounds, Otto Walin took a lot of punishment and, you know... You, you was wondering, would Tyson Fury get the stoppage? Because those rounds were quite one-sided, it has to be said. And um, in this comeback from Tyson Fury in the second half of the fight, he really did showcase his inside skill. And it is considerable, considering how big he is. He actually smothered Otto Walin, but still managed to get his own work off. And, you know, I felt that was very impressive in the second half of this fight. But, with the fight appearing to be beaten out of Otto Walin, he actually showed one more sign of defiance in round 12. He actually finished the fight really well. I actually felt he won round 12, if I'm being honest. He caught Tyson Fury with a lovely left hand to the head, and Tyson Fury was buzzed. I wouldn't say he was badly hurt, but Tyson Fury felt that shot. He froze in his tracks, and Otto Walin applied good pressure throughout round 12 and Tyson Fury really didn't do much in round 12 so I felt Otto Walin won that round based on him landing the best shot of the round and based on him applying some decent pressure. Overall I scored this fight 8-4 to Tyson Fury but that really doesn't tell the full picture. It was a very hard fight, very good fight to watch, a bloodbath and listen I thoroughly enjoyed it. Credit to both men for putting on a show. I really wasn't expecting that. You know, I found a copy of a fight this morning. I wasn't expecting much, but you know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah.
credit to both guys. Thank you for putting on a good show. What's next for Tyson Fury? We all know the fight that needs to happen. It's Deontay Wilder. Hopefully that fight happens next in February. Apparently the fight is already signed. Hopefully that is the case because that's the fight I want to see next from Tyson Fury. As for Otto Wallin, I'm actually interested to see where he goes from here. Was this just a one-off performance where he, you know, performed above his own expectations and own ability? Or is Otto Wallin actually a viable contender slash fringe contender? I'm interested to find out. So, listen, I'm now interested in Otto Wallin's career, so there you go. That goes to show how good his performance was. But, yeah, share your thoughts below. I thoroughly enjoyed this fight. Did you? Comment below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.